order for something new to come, something old must go. And that old can sometimes mean let go of what you know until now. Empty the cup. Start from the beginning. Do you run away from something? Do you run towards something? Failure is a impelling protagonist towards achieving your goal. With failure, be scared, be very scared of failure, and you will succeed. Has, there is no magic pill. One day or day one, keep that in your mind. Keep that, keep that in your mind if you've been slacking on some kind of something that you want to start doing and that you know is going to be good for you if you do start. In your life, in any given moment, the strongest dream in that moment wins that moment. I am a very powerful dreamer. If you want to attract what you want, you've got to see yourself already with it. You've got to understand that you've already got it. Use your imagination, see yourself already in possession of the good you desire. That will flip your mind onto a specific frequency. It's on that frequency that good you desire is going to start coming toward you and you will start moving toward it. You've got to see yourself now already with it. And no, it's only a period of time until you moving toward it and then moving toward you and you become one with it. Someone will save you, but it's you, future you, the better you, the person that you've been waiting to become. And you make up your mind to be defined by a vision of the future instead of the memories of the past. All you have to do is make a decision and you just got to have a clear intent on what you want. And so learn, study, and then begin to dream or begin to build a model of what it could look like and don't let go of it and begin to experience the emotions of how you feel when it happens. The heart of confidence is action. It's the willingness to try. And all you need is to know that if you try, you're not going to die. You're just going to learn something. And when you learn something, it removes a little bit of the insecurity so that it makes it slightly easier to try again. Projecting yourself forward to see what are the consequences of failing? Mm -hmm. What are the consequences of stopping is about as powerful of a motivation strategy as I can think of, you know? Because what you're doing is you're trying to optimize right now to stop the discomfort, but what you're going to pay for that in is shame and guilt right. and regret long-term. So what you need to be able to do is bundle all of that up that is as yet unfelt, but will last for way, way, way longer. You know, the future is much longer than now. That's right. The future is going to extend out up until the day that you die. Mm -hmm. And the now is just for now. And you get to look back and do you look back with pride and glory? Or do you look back with shame and guilt? When you don't feel like doing something like you do it anyway, you do it because you have to, and you have to do it for your future self. You know, you have to look back. You have to look at yourself in five, six, seven years and be the person that you would want to look back and be proud of because now what you're doing, you're doing your future self a favor. This isn't a game. This is your life. Wake up. It's time to make your life into a highlight reel. You're the main character, not anybody else. Stop thinking this world is against you. You're in control. You get to choose what happens next. The wait is over because the time is now. You go higher, you go even more alone. Why? Because nobody is willing anymore to invest their energy in going higher because it's becoming more difficult. They say, oh, it's, it's already okay here. Why you still want to move up there? The air is getting thinner over there. So that means along this way, the higher you want to go, the more likely you're going to walk alone. This is the next thing. You have no idea how great you really are because you are using such minimal of what you have. Everybody has the ability to do it, but they just don't want to. There's no hats, bro. It's you against you. The problem is you, and you don't want to fix it. The hardships, the losses, they make the good times way better. First of all, everybody, you're never starting over. You're always starting from experience. This is so important for you to understand. Just because you got laid off, just because you've ended a relationship, you're not starting from scratch. 
You have all the experiences, good and bad, in your life that you can now use to reinvent and reimagine what the next chapter of your life looks like next. What are you going to do? How bad do you want it? What are you willing to sacrifice? And what are you willing to give up to find every bit of who you are as you're going to be? Delusion is only delusional when you don't accomplish the goal of making your delusions a reality. Losers let it happen. Winners make it happen. Losers see thunderstorms. Winners see rainbows. Losers see icy streets. Winners put on their ice skates. Losers take chances. Winners make choices. It's all in the way you choose to think.